Okay, I have been tagged. So, I guess I'm supposed to uh, tell you five fun facts about me. There's um, not a lot that's fun. Um, there's a few embarrassing things. And uh, I guess I'll have to share those. Okay, uh, Juan. I'm related to John Proctor, who was hung in Salem, Massachusetts, during the witch trials. Uh, how it goes is my mother's side of the family is the Proctors, and uh, they wrote a play on him um, during the whole McCarthyism of the 1950s called The Crucible. And he was one of the central characters. Before they hung him, he said the Lord's Prayer, which supposedly a witch could not do. Yet he did. Historically, supposedly, he did that as well. And they hung him anyways. And uh, it was kind of a lad grab thing. But anyways, uh, whole, you know, literalist Christianity, I take that personally. Just because of that. Well, there's other things too, but that's one factor. Okay, uh, <clears throat> okay, another thing is, I usually lie when I tell people how I met my wife, Hiroko. Um, because the reality is not all that romantic. What I like to say is, I was climbing Mount Fuji outside of Tokyo, and I met her at the top, and as the sun was setting, we made love. Or, I'll sometimes say she was a Shinto priestess, and she was dancing at a ceremony I was invited to go to by some friends. And we started talking, we hit it off, had some sake, she performed the green tea ceremony for me, and then we made love under the starlight of a mountaintop or some shit. So, that's not the truth. Actually, I was uh, in the Air Force, and the bar I used to go got closed um, because my friend and his Japanese wife went bankrupt. So I had to find a new bar. So I started going to this bar named Forever's outside of Misawa Air Base. And uh, there was this girl with a bunch of earrings and stuff, you know, and she wore these little short leather skirts, and I asked her out, and it went well, and then she started giving me free booze. I ended up moving in with her, and I married her, and then brought her home with me after I got out of the Air Force after much trial and tribulation with the embassy. Uh, not that romantic. Third. When I turned 15, I moved in with my dad down here in Missouri. Um, my mother lived in Iowa. So, at the time, I was like, I want a dog. We got a female yellow lab. And after much trial and tribulation and whatnot, I moved back up to Iowa with the dog. And we moved back to Missouri the next summer to live with my dad again. Well, my dog was kind of running around with this mud that had gotten um, the skin on top of its head kicked off by a mule. And I should have realized it, but I wasn't real aware of su stuff like this. My dog was in heat. And so anyways, I ended up moving back with my mom after the summer's over. And my dog got its ear chewed on by flies. So I take my dog to the vet and he uh, cuts off like the infected part and gave me some medicine to squirt on the wound. And he goes, your dog is pregnant. I'm like, well, is there anything we can do about this? And he goes, I don't want to perform, a, perform an abortion um, because she's about four weeks along. And I said, well, I, I, I don't know what to do with puppies. And I ended up talking him into performing a puppy abortion when she was technically in her third trimester. And my family never knew about that. Only my wife knew, and she told me not to tell you guys. But I thought I would share. Um, yeah, I'm a puppy abortionist. So anyways, after that, I was like, I'll never have another dog again, because the story with Mookie, my yellow lab, is very long, but it didn't end well. 
I basically lost my dog and never found it. So when my wife moved here, she wanted a dog real bad. And I kept saying, no, it's a responsibility. It's a lot of work. I don't want to have anything to do with the dog. So anyways, basically what she did was one of her friends and one of my friends found a puppy. They found this guy when he was about 12 weeks old. And a hippie was giving away dogs alongside the road. Mm. I'm going to scratch on the belly. Um, a hippie was giving away dogs alongside the road. And uh, they didn't want anything for him. And he had all his shots and stuff. So I took him home. I sent my friend and Hiroko off to get his accoutrements. And I just basically hung out with him and kind of bonded with him. We've been pals ever since. And I'm glad I have a dog now, but now I'm ready for a dog. Uh, when I had Mookie when I was a teenager, I wasn't ready for one. I was a selfish little jerk, and I didn't need that kind of responsibility. But anyways, Enu's been neutered, because I don't want to perform more puppy abortions, even though he's a male and couldn't get pregnant. I, there's a lot of unwanted dogs. Spay and neuter your pets is what I'm trying to get at. My wife thinks I drink too much and says it causes problems in our relationship. But I just think she doesn't like it when I drink because I stand up for myself and I don't let her just walk all over. That's my opinion. My nationalism or patriotism has been flagging recently. Because when I lived in Japan, I thought people were more friendly and easier to get along with in Japan than in America. You know, Americans can be dicks. And also in Japan, you can buy beer out of vending machines. And you can also buy pornography out of vending machines. And I like that. Also, if you're a passenger in a car, you can drink. And the cops won't give you a hard time. I like that, too. So, in some ways, the Japanese are more free than we are. Um, in some real demonstrable ways. Sheesh. I almost forgot. I have to tag five people. Um, first is Black Acid Lizard. He's not currently making videos right now. Um, perhaps this will pull him from his slumber. Um, I'm really curious what's going on with him right now. Um, is he living in his car? Is he dead? Alive? In jail? We don't know. But this curious mind wants to find out. Hey, Abby Normal. Um, I don't believe she's been tagged yet. Um, pretty much all I know about her is she used to be a born-again Christian. She works in a bookstore and she needs to work on her audio levels. Just kidding. I know you're going to get around to it eventually. Okay. Um, third, Ranch and Grumble Frog. Haven't heard from her recently either. However, she did have one really funny video um, where she was making out with a mannequin. And she's kind of a stoner chick, but still, she's kind of funny. Um, check her out if you get a chance. Um, I don't think Johnny Zazel has been tagged yet. So I will do it, although he's probably been uh, tagged by other people because he's a bit of a celebrity. Um, I think he's the best entertainer on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to him, I suggest you do. Um, he incorporates a lot of stuff into his videos. It's always about different subjects. He's kind of a variety guy, and he's, he's good. He's really good. He's really, really funny. Subscribe to him. Okay, uh... Last is Coctopus. Um, he's got a variety guy like me. I, it's mostly atheism stuff. However, like me, you know, he'll get off on tangents and stuff. And I don't know. I I like his videos. I think you should at least give him a chance. Okay. Uh, plus, he likes to drink, and we all know how I feel about that. Okay. Uh, that finishes this video. Take care. Honey, you can't ask me 
how many fucking biscuits I want while I'm making a video. You ruined it. Now I gotta redo the whole thing. No, I won't redo it. Fuck it.